My name's Sheila Yuff and I previously used to work in the HM forces as a laboratory technician and we eventually got called by medical scientists. In this role I had a multiple um, disciplinary background originally and then I specialised in transfusion science. Originally at school I had a bit of fascination about um, why people were ill um, when I used to do biology and was dissuaded from that at a young age as, as being a career pathway um, and then eventually stumbled on the fact that in pathology laboratories in hospitals you helped diagnose people with disease and you also looked at um, the treatment of patients and to see how well they were responding to treatments that they were undergoing. I worked in a lot of hospital laboratories um, that were small scale and multidiscipline. So it would be a small team of us and we would rotate around haematology, transfusion, microbiology, clinical chemistry and histology. I specialised in transfusion science, so I used to be responsible for the day-to-day -day running of the transfusion department, checking that we had enough blood in for um, any cases that we had coming through, that blood was cross-matched and um, checked against patients, um, so that in an emergency we could provide blood for um, any cases that we had scheduled for um, for operations and also for anybody who might just come in through accident and emergency. You start off and you learn all about um, red cells and the antigens on them um, and then you suddenly realise that um, you're actually doing one of the most important roles in a laboratory because if you get it wrong when you're doing a cross match you can actually kill the patient and it's one of the few times you actually res receive a prescription from a doctor that asks for a very dangerous drug and if we get it wrong um, then obviously it has serious consequences. Most of them can't get over the fact that you have your routine work and it seems to be nice and trickling through um, and then when something serious get, kicks off you can actually have more people come in and you can be cross-matching you know, hundreds of units of blood um, to support something like a major road traffic accident or it may be that you've so, somebody who has, had, has, has had an aneurysm that's popped and you might be cross-matching 30 or 40 units and just pushing blood into somebody to support them to keep them live long enough for us to be able to fix the problem in the hospital. The fact that you actually got to know a little bit about the history of the patients and a little bit more about them. Um, I worked in Cyprus where we did a lot of work on thalassemic patients um, and that was quite nice because you got to see um, they, their bloods came in every month, you cross match blood for them and you'd look at other parameters and see how well they were doing and you'd work out how much blood they needed that month and you actually got the chance to go up onto the wards and actually see these patients when they were taking the blood up wasn't really part of our role but because it was a small environment it was actually nice to see the end user occasionally. The highlights of it are obviously if you've been really busy on a case and you've had a patient who was unlikely to survive when you get to the end of a session and you have finished your blood support um, the surgical teams have done their work and a patient survives um, that's obviously a real real big highlight some of the lowlights obviously are when things go wrong and um, it may be a smaller case and somebody then isn't there especially if they were a regular patient um, and they were coming in for top-up transfusions you feel like you knew them so when they don't turn up anymore that's actually quite a sad part.